Oh, today's a long day, my lord. Well, let's see my latest video so far. I should really fix that. All right, let's get back into you. Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. After somehow five months, uh, I am sorry. <laughs> uh, but quick, uh, quick update real quick of why I did stop for five months. Was mainly because of burnout to reacting to so many versus videos. And the, the coronavirus thing that went on and that's still going on around my area. But it's not as bad. But, yeah, I just had a burnout. I was, like, done. I just uploaded the, the my latest video. I think it was the, shit, it was the, I think it was, like, the meme something. The meme free-for-all. But, yeah, it was the meme free-for-all that I've been waiting for the update for. Which did happen a couple of months ago, which I think was like two months ago or something like that. Um, I'll react to that later. I'll react to that one later. Um, but yeah, it was mainly that video that I stopped because I was like, okay, let me just take a little break. And I lost track of time and it's been fucking five months. So I'm sorry, guys. But, um, yeah. And also that, and also because of school too and the coronavirus we can get to do online. I think most of you already know, or did it already, or don't have it, don't have the coronavirus somehow, in your area or whatever, but you guys are fucking lucky. <laughs> but anyways, back to this video, because I know I'm going to be talking forever. But, um, Mario versus, Mi I think Mario will win because of Tanuki, mainly because of invincibility. But, yeah, I think Mario will win, mainly. Just because of the invisibility of um, the Tanuki suit. But anyways, let's go with this video, right? Wait. Okay, okay, never mind. Right now. This video is rated T for Teen. Uh, I feel so <laughs> I know it's so weird for making videos, but it feels weird to come back to it, if that makes sense. It's mainly because I haven't done this in a while. Ladies and gentlemen, the rematch you've all been waiting Why are they on for. Mr. Video Game versus the King of Cartoons. Mickey Mouse versus Super Mario Round 2. To celebrate 100,000 amazing Rewind Rumble subscribers, I bring oh you my the God. I cannot legend. believe I'm so subscribed now, remember, to this channel this for is over a full composite remake, two years, I think. As explained in Round 1 over on Cartoon Fight Club. That match was a very selective base form battle. Tonight, we go balls to the walls. We leave nothing behind. And yes, that includes Paper Mario, Mario Party, and even Super Mario RPG. On Rewind Rumble, we usually don't do composites. But this is a special case. As long as it has the official Disney or Nintendo seal of approval, it will be factored in for this special one-time rematch. So without further ado, let's find out which medium has more power at their disposal. <gasps> video games or cartoons. Today, we rewind rumble. Mario. 
Mario Mario, mm. Mr. Video Game, the Italian older twin brother of Luigi, the Koopa Slayer, the Kart Driver. This man needs no introduction, mm -hmm. but his mustache certainly does. Fun fact about Mario's mustache, since the pixels were so simplistic back in the day, Nintendo needed a way to differentiate Mario's anatomy. So they gave him a mustache to help what cover what would be his mouth. They also gave him a hat to simplify what would be his hair. And even his overalls are a product of separating his arms from his torso. Mario being a Koopa crusher through his Why? jumps and acrobatic skills are a given. We've discussed this time and time again. It is now the time that we represent Mario as the true powerhouse he is. We bring in his RPG elements and his best Paper Mario abilities. Oh, Super Mario RPG is what many consider the game that allowed Western audiences to appreciate role-playing games as a unique genre in gaming. In this game, Mario, Bowser, and Peach team up with some new friends to take on the Smithy game. While Mario ventures through new I lands, never played he encounters Mario RPG, the Dark Knight Mario. himself. Q-Lex, not Batman, even though that would be pretty epic. I'm Batman. Though Q-Lex himself is a force to be reckoned with. Culex was officially stated to be the master of time and space in the official guide booklet. In his Japanese right. dialogue, he stated he holds time from its beginning to its end and holds the power over the creation of the Marioverse. Oh, this would make his attack potency at a high multiverse level, and his speed would be immeasurable during this battle. I've been gone Since for five months, and my hands are killing me already time with space, He could pretty Lord. much consume time. Mario fought and easily kept up with Culex. Again, Culex is the master of time and space and can consume time. Thus, timeless hey, voids yeah, really, would be his I think environment and going back to that Japanese text <sighs> no really I think he was with some sandwiches rift and those are by definition devoid of time and space furthermore he was about to leave Mario's and go back to Vonda thus he was in between dimensions during that period <laughs> meaning he was outside of the space-time continuum which all qualifies for infinite speed and then of course there is paper Mario okay. we went over the basic abilities of paper Mario and paper Mario versus Archie Still Sonic. love that video. The though. important takeaway for this analysis would be Paper Mario's Star Rod. The Star Rod is a magical item with the power to grant the wishes of the people of the Mushroom Kingdom. It is in the possession of the seven star spirits who use it to grant the wishes. Now, the Star Rod has been stated on multiple occasions to grant any wish, which may make these statements no limits fallacies, but if I were to cap a limit on the Star Rod's abilities, this thing should be able to alter and affect the Dream Depot, which the Dream Depot itself ranges from at least 5D to infinite dimensional. To further explain, every time someone dreams in the Marioverse, a real universe is created and emulated within the Dream Depot. So take a single universe without boundaries, and if everyone dreams in that universe, there would be a multiverse of uncountable dreams, and in those dreams there could be people dreaming, so on and so forth. creating a paradox of infinite dreams, infinite sets of infinity, dreams tacking on dreams oh within dreams. My if we put this at its low end, it could be at least 5D and skyrocket all the way up to infinite dimensional. Mishka. Mushka, ah. Mickey Mouse, the mouse who owns every show on Earth, is ready for another oh fight God. in the Rewind Rumble verse. On this channel, he's been in battles against Team Nick, fought in the Reality Warper free for all, but this is his first solo episode of Rewind Rumble. Really? He's had a few solo CFCs against Bug Bunny, SpongeBob, and of course Mario in Round One. Huh? Mickey's greatest ability has to be outliving the public domain. The public domain has taken the likes of Thor, Hercules, Robin Hood, and even. Red Riding Hood. The Mickey monsters! In 1928. He's roughly eight years away from being 100 years oh old. Oh my Mickey, the character God, he's old. isn't exactly the cool like mascot that what, Disney like Company 92? uses for branding. His personality is quite charming, and he's got a great moral compass as a hero who fights for what's right. He's also quite the powerhouse. Obviously, existing for almost a century is going to allow Mickey to pick up a few skills along the way. A few hundred his experience skills. fighting alongside 
inside Sora. Mickey's Keyblade is the Kingdom Watch over 100 TV. years, he just learned, no one like, wants to get he just learned like, one D's, new skeleton. Especially oh. while eating Mickey D's. Mickey's D is not a D you want shoved down your throat, is what I'm getting My at. My childhood this is getting right out there. Of hand. Let's refresh your memory on why Mickey is an absolute powerhouse, and what makes him a reality warper along with showcasing his various weapons. Speaking of which, Mickey's arsenal contains some powerful weapons. With his paintbrush, he has access to the blue paint and the green thinner, which allow him to dissolve his enemies and make them fight for him. With his sorcerer's hat, he gains magical power, and like most cartoon characters, Mickey possesses a level of tune force that allows him to tank severe injuries and recover quickly from them. Mickey has some good stats backing him up as well. He's fast enough Is to that die the Iron lasers, <laughs> strong enough to topple giants, and can exit the animation and manipulate animation frames. Mickey's tune force is his most inconsistent ability, but at its best, it's also his most powerful asset. Having the ability to directly manipulate the plot as a hex not many can counter or deflect and if his opponent doesn't have a counter to such a hex then mickey's chances of winning are higher than disney's current net worth and now let's get ready for the fight this battle will take place no. on earth and remember there is no prep time let the battle, battle begin, begin. Okay. When you wish upon a star. What is that song? What is that song? No, Cypher? Why are you here? Oh, you know why I'm here. You're screwed. What? I don't even know what you're talking about. You don't know what I'm talking about? Oh, boy. I will remind you. At the last meeting, you spoke about contracts. Speaking of which, you did not fulfill my contract, and What's now What's he had to do for your contract? Calm down! I'll solve this! No, no, it, it's too late. I'll send you to another universe as punishment. This way, you'll learn Dude, your you know, lesson. Dude, you know, he owns you, so how would... No! So why on earth would he be punished? Whatever. Make it guess what he wants. Oh wow! <gasps> Yoshi! <gasps> oh! Take my Here we go! Ready? Rumbo! Yoshi! Oh! 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 Oh!
enjoyed that animation, and if you did, super special thanks to Team Animation Rewind's Isaac X. Both. I'd also like to thank Daniel W. for playing the voice hey, of Mickey hey, Mouse, and I definitely owe a huge thanks to Nairobi and Paleo Mario 66 for the Mario research. Thanks, and enjoy the post analysis. <laughs> Revenge has been avenged. Mickey won round one back at CFC, but Mario takes round two. Now, when we do full composites like this, the debate no longer becomes a stat comparison like the base form battle with a specific incarnation would have turned out. With the inclusion of the Star Rod abilities, this essentially becomes a hacks debate. The question we need to answer here is, who has the better hacks, and more importantly, who has the better counters to each hacks? Let's start with Mickey's hacks and Mario's counters. Mickey's best hacks would be his ability to manipulate the plot and rewrite future events by directly changing animation frames. Mario's best counter would be using the Star Rod to wish Mickey's abilities away. Mario's best hacks would be using the Star Rod to its full power. This thing should be able to alter and affect the Dream Depot, which the Dream Depot itself ranges from at least 5D to infinite dimensional. So we reach a point where an immovable object meets an unstoppable force. These two are just going to counter each other infinitely, right? Well, the answer is no. The reason why Mario has an upper hand is because Mario has uh, consistency right on his side and he's naturally faster. Mickey's animation manipulation relies heavily on inconsistent tune force. It would be very difficult to assume that Mickey will consistently time in and time out again, trust his tune force to work 100% with no errors. And again, Mario is naturally faster, so there is a great chance that he can strike first and win the battle before Mickey even uses his animation manipulation. Mickey has some pretty good FTL beats, even some MFTL beats, but Mario, especially Paper Mario, has many super consistent MFTL plus feats. When this was a base form battle back in round one, base form Mario didn't have a great counter to Mickey's Toon Force, but when we give both characters everything and anything, the mouse no longer owns the house, making the winner of this rumble, Mario. On the next episode of Rewind Rumble.